My friends, the first key in defining a guitar tone starts with simply making sure that it sonically sounds good. Being positive that it can work in a scenario you're after is only the first step though. The next step is finding the right voicing for the amp. We're gonna play a little game today to sharpen our ears for guitar tones. I'm going to blindly show you some tones based on the info in the rest of this video. You have to guess what voicing it is. Bonus points if you can guess the amp as well. And by the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of the types of voicings, the flavors they add and take away, and the effect that tubes have on the overall tonality of a tube amp or even an amp sim. So when you see options like 6L6 or EL34 on an amp sim, or getting tubes for a real amp, you'll know what that actually means. And on top of that, we'll even add an amp voicing guide right below in the description for you guys to download. So what's happening fam? Miami here with JST and I think it's pretty important to go over the voicing of amplifiers. We have British voicing, American voicing, and the wildly sought after German voicing. Each of these has its own tonal characteristics, which are largely due to the types of tubes being used with the amplifier. The type of valve can affect the way that the amp breaks up. Also, many are aimed at specific genres due to the nature of the inherent sound. So let's do something a little different than usual. We're gonna play a guitar riff through one of each of these voicings, and you're going to guess which is which. Later on, we're going to see if you're able to identify it based on what you learned so far in this episode. Once again, we will have A, B, and C. And so for you to pick British, American, and German, sounds like a good time, right? So let's give it a go. All right, so keep those in your mind as we get into our first voicing, but I wanna go over an important factor that many of you know and many of you will be hearing for the first time. We have to start off with the popular tube types and power valves. The main four are EL34, EL84, 6L6, and 6V6. EL34 and EL84s are the ones associated with British voicing, and 6L6s and 6V6s are mainly associated with American voicing. German voicing has no true preference and tends to find itself using either, sometimes a KT77, to get the sound that it wants between American and British. So in the most nutshell way that I can put this, uh, British has push mid-range, American is scooped with enhanced lows and highs, and German is the Goldilocks sitting in the middle let's break them down. American voicing. Ah, yes, the good old red, white, and blue. You know what else is red, white, and blue? The subscribe button, notification bell, and like button. So make sure that you hit all of those to keep up with our new content. My transition game is still crazy. Yeah, I still got it. American voicing is most associated with having the best headroom and being a pedal platform. This is why we see a plethora of people using a variety of pedals with amps like Fenders, PV, and Mesa. It doesn't have a clean point of breakup and it's kind of a harsh overdrive. This works amazingly for everywhere from very clean amps to extreme metal. It doesn't do stuff in the middle that well in my opinion. Pretty much any metal band in the world could get away with using a 5150 and no one would ever question it. When it comes to American voicing, think uh, architects, dream theater, monuments, and the like. On clean channels, a tone can be completely molded from the proper pedal. So much more to play with than the British counterpart. American voiced amps use 6L6s and 6V6s, as I said. The 6L6 is what people refer to as the American sound. It is less compressed and has more headroom than its little brother, the 6V6. 6V6 is similar in sound to the 6L6, but uses less power and is cheaper. I don't really want to bring personal opinion in this, but I think the 6L6 is by far the better option of these two. Next up, British voicing. This voicing is most associated with an exaggerated mid-range. You know, British voicing, haha, ha. I thought it was funny. It's narrow and known to be crunchy. It also has the nicest breakup going into overdrive. It makes it a perfect type of amp for guitarists that aren't on the extremely clean side of things and don't get disgustingly heavy. The most popular genres for this type would be pop punk and rock. The point of breakup is often referred to as glassy and can be heard in pop punk bands like Trash Boat, uh, broadside and the main. If every pop punk band for the rest of time used orange, boxer, or Marshall amp, 
no one would ever complain nor question it. British voice amps are not the greatest pedal platforms if you're looking for a nice warm clean tone. You can use pedals with them, but they tend to do better with a push distortion sound. The combo of the JCM 800 and Tube Screamer is a very popular combo that made its way into metal quite a long time ago. To be honest, a JCM 800 without a Tube Screamer doesn't really have the cutting edge needed for heavier music, so it's a good pairing. British amps tend to use EL34s or EL84s. EL84s have a bright mid-range punch, the fastest breakup, and the least headroom of all the power tubes. EL34s have a warmer mid-range, uh, more headroom than an EL84, but much less compressed sounding. This is considered the sound of British voicing, as they say. German voicing sits in a gray area. It has the characteristics of a punchy mid-range like a British voice damp and pronounced lows and highs like an American voice damp. Basically, everything is balanced all the way around. German amps tend to often fall into the boutique category, and even when it doesn't, they are pretty much the most expensive side of amps. Wagner, Angle, Diesel are considered very high-end and rightfully so. The tonal options you can get out of them is bar none. They're also most likely to use the KT77 too. They also use 6L6s and EL34s, you know. Nine Inch Nails, Three Days Grace, uh, and even pop punk bands, state champs use these in the studio. I've witnessed two of those three actually doing that. You can guess which is which for yourselves. So now that we've gone through this, let's listen to these clips one more time. I think now you should have a better understanding of what to listen for in the guitar tones to determine the voicings that they have. Okay, so A was a Marshall JCM 800 British voicing, B was an Angle U530 German voicing, and C was a PV5150 American voicing. So in summary, if you need a go-to that will cover you in all areas that specialize in the middle, but can go clean or dirty, British is the way for you. If you like using pedals to customize your tone, American is the way for you. And if money is no option, and you want to have varieties across the board and a bunch of world-class tones, uh, look into some good old German engineering. With this information, you will at least be able to make better decisions in the world of guitar tone. And when it comes to the age-old question of do tubes matter, yes. Without a doubt, 100% tubes matter. They are where the concept of voicings even came from in the first place. So make sure to take that into account next time you pick the tubes in your amp sim or even order a fresh pair to reamp your amplifier. All of this is important when it comes to finding the perfect tone. Do you guys feel like there is something that I may have missed? Did this help you finally get an understanding of tubes? Are you going to live by this cheat sheet? Let me know in the comments below and I will chat with you like I always do. If you're an engineer on the come up, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You only have to do it one time and tap that bell for notifications. So when a video drops, you know the location. Until next time, I am out of here. Mic drop, <laughs> except as engineers we know, I'd never really drop this thing because that'd get really expensive. Even if it is a piece of shirt. <laughs> Later.